Why we act as we do in certain situations is the focus of study in a wide variety of disciplines, including the field of behavioral biology. Joining us today to provide a few more insights is Jens Kalsa from the Humboldt University. Thanks for joining us. You've studied how people react and interact in both small and large groups, and you've said that basically people are just like fish. What do you mean by that? There are a lot of similarities between the, uh, the crowd behavior or the large group behavior of fish and humans in the sense that um, individuals show similar rules of behavior. So we tend to try and keep a certain distance to others. We tend to face in the same direction and we also feel attracted by them and copy their direction of movement. Would you say that a group is smarter or an individual? This depends very much on the context. Um, for certain cognitive tasks like making a prediction or providing an estimate, um, groups can outperform individuals. Yeah. What do you have to do to guide a group in a particular direction? Well, our research um, on human groups showed that we need about 5 to 10 percent of informed individuals to guide a group effectively. What can you, or what does your work mean for a, a phenomena like mass panic? Because I think we all have a reflex to just escape a situation like that as quickly as possible. Yes, we do, but in these situations, people still respond to each other. And we found that if you uh, position um, informed individuals in particular ways within the crowd, you can still uh, guide it fairly effectively. How much would a system like the uh, smartphone system we saw in our report just now, how much would that help? I think it's a great system. It has a lot of potential, but um, I guess it remains to be tested in, in real life situations. Are there warning signals to look out for when a mass panic is about to start? It's very hard to, to say, I think, but um, there's certainly a critical density of people about six to seven per square meter when it becomes really dangerous. What can be done in concrete terms as far as the, the organizers of events are concerned to try and prevent a mass panic? Uh, this one is a bit tricky for me because I'm not really a security yeah. expert, but um, I mean, I would say um, they need to be able to regulate the crowd flow into these areas that are potential sort of dangerous areas and so on. I mean, that's what has been done in Mecca, for instance. Now, are there ways to stop a mass panic once it's started, or is that just it, the floodgates are open? Well, I think you have to be able to give the crowd options to get out of the area. So if you have, whatever, big barriers up um, that prevent the crowd from going in certain directions, this can be tricky. But I think most importantly of all, you have to be able to stop the, the flow of even more people into those areas. All right, Jens Kosa, thank you very much.